That's what I'm training for. <laughs> All right, what's going on? So I found this set of monkey bars the other day, decided to just run up and try a new style of training. So I walked up there, there was a group of kids, probably like teenagers, 13 years old, just sat around. I was feeling kind of awkward getting my camera out and recording, but I was like, all right, fuck it. So at first I just hopped on the monkey bars and just started going side to side. See, so watch me just look at my hands there. Remember that for later, it's gonna become important. Look at this, so leg raises. I'm actually so proud of myself here. I've been hitting this movement right now for quite a while, about two months. When I first started trying to do this exercise, I could barely even do one good rep. And now look at it, I'm just busting out the set nice and easy. Fluid motion, crunching at the top. My abs were packed from that. So now I'm going backwards on the monkey bars. So here I'm gonna try and jump forward one bar to the other. Watch this. Boom. That looked kind of cool, but I'm not going to lie, it hurt my hand so much. I was like, nah, I'm just going <laughs> to go back to the normal monkey bars. I'm not doing that again. Turn around, get a few sets in there and back. Look at the thing shake as well. This was supposed to be for kids. I wasn't supposed to be using this thing, but oh well. So obviously I brought up my rings as well. And I set them up here. All right, so I'm about to hit tricep dips now. I've been hitting this movement quite often for the last week or so. And I've been training with these rings now for 10 days. Look at that stability. And then let's just compare from the first time I went on the rings. That's the first time I ever got on the rings. Look at that compared to this. Let's do a side by side. 10 days difference. Look at the left and look at the right. I got two reps on the left and look, I'm still busting them out here. Look at that. That is some real progress in just 10 days. Good controlled reps. Those kids were just laughing in the back as well, just giggling. I was like getting a little bit self-conscious thinking maybe I've like shit myself and like the poop's like falling down my leg or something, but I don't know. <laughs> All right, so now I'm jumping sideways through the bar. This was actually ridiculously hard to do. As soon as I was like holding onto the bar, I was just thinking like, how the hell is this even possible? Like, how do you let go of your hands and then wrap it around the other one? But I did it somehow anyway, missed the last one. And then these kids started talking to me like, is he going on Ninja Warrior? So I just told him, yeah, like I wasn't actually planning to obviously, like, but I just said, yeah, for the sake of it. Ninja Warrior is like some kind of gymnastic competition or something. Hello. My number one fans. You did YouTube. So they start asking me about like YouTube because they see me recording. It's Hamza. H-A-M-Z-A. Who's that? D so one of the girls just subscribed to me straight away so I said her <laughs> YouTube name out and they were like so excited that I said it out loud like and she said that she had a TikTok following of 50,000 and that she'd give me a shout out like she was saying it to her friends and I was like I was hitting this muscle up right now feeling kind of excited I was thinking this girl's actually gonna give me a shout out to like 50,000 people I'm gonna get famous me but I'm still waiting on my shout out so I'm gonna go track that girl down like where's my shout out bitch so I'm trying some like intuitive movements that I don't usually do here. This one, like, I don't even know what the purpose of it was, but I just kind of went upside down and did some sit-ups. Some girl called me a bat as well, it just reminded me of coronavirus and I got a bit of PTSD from it. But I hit like two reps here, didn't even feel it in my abs. My shins hurt so much from being pressed against the bar that I just got off straight away. And obviously just hit some more dips here. Oh no, in fact, I didn't even hit dips, I did some leg raises. Watch this second rep right now. Ooh. <laughs> Let's get a slow motion on that as well. I'm not gonna lie, I'm looking kind of hench as well. I just bust out some more tricep dips. It's probably one of my favorite movements right now of all time. Ring tricep dips. The kids are arguing whether or not I'm doing like the real training for Ninja Warrior because at this moment they genuinely believe that I'm training for it and one of the girls was like but he's not practicing on the wall and the guy went well yeah but is there a wall here? <laughs> Alright, I'm still struggling with Skin the Cat. I've got some new fans who are watching me. I told them I'm joining the... what was it Ninja Warrior? I'm not actually. <laughs> 
Remember, I told you to remember my hands. Look at this now. And my skin just started peeling off my hand. It's from those little bar to bar jumps I was doing. I didn't have any chalk or anything, so I was kind of like scraping the friction. And this movement right here as well, just intuitively training my abs here. Knees to the floor, heels to the bar. Knees to the floor, heels to the bar. Really just crunching this type of movement, this leg raise. This one just hits as well. You'll see straight after I come, I've not even edited me sort of afterwards. You'll see how deep breaths I'm taking. All right. I'm drawing blood. Ah. Shit, I'm out of breath. This is actually, it hits quite well. I'll do some abs to finish off. All right, so another intuitive movement that I just thought of. Hang on to the bar, toe touch to the other side of the bar, and then step one forward. Let me sip my tea as we watch me hit this. This one was good as well. It was just kind of like another style of training, another style of doing leg raises that I kind of enjoyed instead of just staying on a stable bar or rings. And the, the ring strap there just got caught around my leg and that just pissed me off as well. <laughs> yeah, they had a little dog and like, you can't really see it, but it was just in the background, just having a shit as well. Just put me off. <laughs> And then the, these kids' parents came up as well, just started talking to me, like asking me like if they were in the YouTube video as well. Like. <laughs> nah, nah, it's just about you, nah. <laughs> I was expecting the parents to come up like, oh, why are you recording our kids? Like we're calling the police, like there's a brown guy here. But uh, everyone's kind of friendly around, it, around these parts, so I appreciate that. Kids and the parents were actually really nice people as well. So I'm just trying to do the same movement again. Hold on, touch my legs to the top go forward once and look, just look at those gymnastic straps just like tangling me but I'm still going though still holding on this point I honestly was about to drop the bar and I was like oh I just can't be asked but I was like no 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 obviously I just got to get to the other side complete the set come on last one so I was going to do one last rep here obviously finish it off and like you can't really see it but there's like another bar close to my legs so I couldn't really like lift my legs up but I probably could have busted it out to be honest so I've got to go back there and do that <laughs> you can see I'm tired so the girl's just giving me like YouTube advice because she's like TikTok famous or something telling me like angles and like set your camera up and stuff and like appreciate it to be honest because I don't think my camera angles are that good I just kind of like pick up the camera All right, kids have told me to try the balancing thing. So I'm done with my workout. I was just about to leave and then they told me to just try this little thing here. Just You're just supposed to stand on it and just get to the other side. Nice and balanced. I knew that if I go fast, it's 100% out easy. Do you know what I mean? Piece of cake. But then I was like, all right, can I go really slow and just rely on my actual like muscle balance? And also, can I put my feet like not sideways? So this is like as hard as it can get right now, putting your feet like straight ways so there's not much surface area. Can I make it to the end, do you reckon? Nah. <laughs> so I was like, nah, but I'm not gonna like, let that failure defeat, I'm just gonna go back again, nice and quick, boom. Can you jump the hurdles? They are impossible. Yeah, I think so. You can, you can. I'll give it a try, innit? Anything for YouTube. Anything for YouTube. All right, these hurdles, they're not even that high up, I'm not gonna lie. They're probably difficult for like people shorter than me, but like they were barely up to like my hips, not even that, like my thighs. So I didn't even need a run up, honestly. I just, don't know why I just treated it like a track jump, but the kids were like so happy that I was hitting it. They were like so excited and I, I just took it easy. And I look at this, my ego just got in front of me. I didn't calculate the... <laughs> <laughs> I made that one, but I kind of slipped as well. Oh my god. <laughs> that hurt as well. They're telling which kid to like, get the bottle and stuff out of the way. This kid just runs up, just Naruto runs off the screen as well. I found that funny. Last two hurdles, boom, easy. And easy. That's it for the workout. 
Shit, 10 minutes just like that. I didn't even mean for this to be like, you know, those YouTube videos, which are just 10 minutes long, just to get two ads. I'm not even monetized, so there's no point, but yeah. All right, so this workout got from this YouTuber right there. That's my blood on the ring right there. Shit. This thing is getting mashed up from this. Right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, this Ninja Warrior training. Take care.